Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the State of Ohio Wellness Ambassador Biometrics Training Event Scheduling Training. Um, my name is Darcy Schultz. I'm one of the outreach coordinators for the Take Charge Live Well program. And with me today are the other outreach coordinators, Kiana Samuels and Miranda Ike. I did want to let you know that there will be a follow-up training to this um, in June of this year regarding uh, if there's any new program incentive changes and day of event details and just some more specifics about that. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, who is eligible for the Take Charge Live Well Biometric Screening Event, um, the roles of the Wellness Ambassador, yourselves, and us, the Outreach Coordinators, um, the group screening schedule process, as well as some key dates for the program. Um, this should take somewhere about 25 minutes or so. Um, we did try to write out most of the pertinent information in these slides, so that way you can always refer back to this training if needed. But if you ever have any questions, um, throughout, feel free to email us at takechargelivewell at healthways.com, and one of the outreach coordinators should be able to answer your question that way as well. Okay, so just to get started um, with eligibility for the program. So who is eligible to attend an on-site screening event? Well, it's the same as last year. Um, it's employees and spouses that are enrolled in the State of Ohio Health Plan. Now just to go through um, the roles of who is who. So as I mentioned, uh, we're the outreach coordinators from Healthways that help to administer the program. And then the screening vendor for these events is Hooper Holmes Health and Wellness. So we'll be referring to Hooper Holmes a lot throughout the training, so we just wanted to uh, get that name in your mind. Okay, so in terms of the outreach coordinators, um, we just listed some of the main responsibilities so that way you know um, who's doing what and who you can go for for help. Um, so we're responsible for the day-to-day -day point of contact for the screening, as well as educating you, the State of Ohio Wellness Ambassadors, on the screening process, facilitate communication between the Wellness Ambassadors and Hooper Holmes, assist you in determining the optimal time frame for your screening event, and communicate screening-related information to, to you, the Wellness Ambassadors. Now, just a couple additional things that are not listed on the site, but we're also here to assist in online scheduling, um, as well as answer any questions and resolve any participant issues that may arise. But most importantly, we just want to make sure that you're prepared for the screening and to assist you and your colleagues as they participate and navigate the Take Charge Live Well program. Just continuing on with some of our responsibilities, um, we do work to ensure that all sites are ready for your screening event. Um, and we, what we plan on doing is working one-on-one -on -one, um, with each wellness ambassador that's hosting an event just to make sure that you're prepared and that everyone's on the same page. Um, we also plan to send Outlook meeting requests to the wellness ambassadors to remind you of a 10-day lockdown. And what that is um, is 10 days prior to an on-site event, the scheduling window will close for that event. And we'll talk more about that in the coming slides. Um, additionally, we're going to email the appointment roster to the wellness ambassador prior to the day of the event, so that way you have um, just a copy of the appointments for the day. And we'll also be acting as your contact on the day of the screening, whether that be in person or remotely. Um, now, a difference this year is that um, the outreach coordinators will not necessarily be at every screening this year, as we were in the previous year. However, if we're not um, at the event on your site, again, one of us will be, quote, unquote, on call for you that day. And, and again, we'll work a lot with you leading up to it to make sure that you're prepared for the event. Okay. Now, how about we talk about understanding the role of you, the wellness ambassador? Now, you will be the main point of contact for all items related to implementing the screenings at your site. Um, you'll work directly with the outreach coordinators for any questions or escalations surrounding the event or just through the whole Take Charge Level program. And also, you'll prepare and participate in the scheduling call with Hooper Holmes. And what they'll do is just confirm all of the events of, or all of the details of your event. Now, we know that um, this can seem like it's a lot of work, but I just want to just emphasize that how important you are to the program and really to the whole screening event, and it can be a very easy process. Um, the more prepared we are, then the less work it can be on you and on us. So hopefully um, we will help with that. 
Okay, just some further um, bullets here. Uh, we do expect you to complete the Wellness Ambassador Site Visit Responsibilities with a Hooper Homes Examiner, and that takes place about two to three days prior to your event. Um, set up the registration area for a Hooper Homes Receptionist on the day of the event, and we'll talk more about the specifics of that, but it does include printing the appointment roster that will be sent to you from one of the outreach coordinators. And additionally, um, set up the screening area just with adequate examination space and number of trash cans. And when you meet with the Hooper Homes Examiner for your site visit, they'll talk to you about that amount as well. So more details on this site visit will be provided in the next training in June, as I mentioned. And we'll be sending you appointment reminders for your site visit and other important dates um, leading up to your screening event. So marketing materials will be provided to you to help promote your event and to maximize participation. Very similar to last year if you had an event. Um, this will include a privacy handout, take charge level well overview flyers, um, in, an incentive frequently asked questions flyer, and promotional posters for your event. And we'll provide these to you either via email, in our office mail, or in person. And if there are ever any additional materials that you think would assist you and your agency with the event, or just throughout the whole Take Charge Global program, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out to us to discuss, and we'll help you out in any way that we can. Okay, so just to go through um, the timeline here, scheduling your event, um, we do ask that by March 29th, you must have completed the scheduling request web form, and that link will be provided to you. Um, and then by April 10th, Cooper Holmes will begin calling the wellness ambassadors just to confirm these, these dates and all of the event details that have been submitted on the web form. And by May 6th, that is when um, all of the sites must be scheduled and confirmed by Hooper Holmes. So between April 10th and May 6th, um, it, you should be receiving a call from them to confirm all your details. Now on June 5th and 6th, um, we're going to do another screening training similar to this. And during the week of July 2nd, that will be the first 10-day lockdown for an event. Because as you'll see, skipping ahead, um, July 15th is when group screenings begin. So 10 business days prior to an event the week of July 15th would be that week of July 2nd. And again, that lockdown, what that means is that um, registration will be closed for um, any appointments for that event 10 days prior. So that way, um, Cooper Holmes, yourselves, and the outreach coordinators have time to prepare logistically for the event. And finally, um, November 29th, that is the last date that a group screening can occur. Okay. So for your scheduling request web form, um, this is obviously online, and we can send you the link to that. Again, you must have this completed by March 29th. Um, and we will uh, be able to hopefully reach out to you with confirmation of your event details um, the following week of March 29th. And as you can see here, it gets pretty detailed, um, but this is just a screenshot. It's a pretty self-explanatory site that you should be able to walk through. So as you can see, um, you'll have to include your event location, and then also, you'll notice that there's a section for if the shipping address is different than your actual event location. And the reason for that is, again, that Hooper Homes will be shipping all of the equipment prior to your event. So you just want to make sure that um, nothing is delayed with that delivery. Um, we also ask that you input um, an alternate, alternate uh, site contract. And this way, if anyone you know, happens to go on vacation or an unexpected leave or um, just, you know, is unreachable leading up to the event, that the outreach coordinators as well as Hooper Homes are able to still have contact with someone at the agency um, who's familiar with the screening event. And I do want to note that all fields are required um, except for the miscellaneous information section. So even if um, some of the fields might be the same, just make sure that you're still filling them out, otherwise it will not let you submit your form. And this is just the second half of the web form. Um, it includes your preferred screening dates and times. Um, we do ask that you put in two alternate dates for these. And what this is, so basically that we can try and um, set up the schedule the most conveniently way possible. So we do ask that you put in some alternate dates and times. 
And then if you are using an A1C at your event, um, there's a little bit of information there. Um, you can include that. And we do ask that you let us know about any potential security requirements, um, if there's any specifics with parking or anything like that. And then if you have any special requests or comments, please uh, feel free to put those in as well. Okay, so just a couple tips to uh, help you get the best um, outcome at your event. Um, we do recommend that for non-shift facilities that your event ends at 12 o'clock noon or by 12 o'clock noon. And the reason for this is that um, the same as last year, this is a fasting screening. So participants are expected to fast for nine hours leading up to the event. Um, this, they can have water or black coffee, but other than that, um, we would recommend that it ends at noon. And for shift facilities, we would say 2.30 p.m. And we would also recommend um, that Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are the days that you uh, that you aim for for these. Um, and the reason for that is just to ensure the highest participation in, based on just some historical data. Okay. So as I mentioned before, Hooper Homes will begin contacting wellness ambassadors um, starting on April 10th to confirm the details of your screening event, uh, including the date, time, location, estimated number of participants, and so on. And they'll also discuss the event area setup. Uh, now, just wanted to put a little note here, and they'll go into more detail, but when you're scheduling your event, make sure that whatever room that you schedule it for, um, each examiner will require a space of eight feet by eight feet, and that's to ensure participant privacy. Um, and pipe and drape, or the privacy screens, um, they can be supplied upon request with Super Homes. So on your scheduling call with Hooper Homes, they will also schedule your site visit. Now the scheduling request web form will be forwarded to Hooper Homes prior to your call with them, so they should have all the information that you already submitted. And again, all screening events must be confirmed with Hooper Homes by May 6th. Okay, so I touched on the last slide about the screening area. And uh, this just goes into a little bit more specifics. Um, first, we need to have a registration area. And this is all the same as last year if you had an on-site event. So that might help you um, picture it. But the registration area should be located near the screening event entrance. And a Hooper Homes registration clerk will be present for that. So you do not need to man that desk. We, do, we just ask that you assist with setting it up, um, again, with printing that roster and, and so on. And then for the actual screening area, um, again, each eight by eight feet private, semi-private screening area will need um, one table, um, preferably at least three feet by three feet, um, just to be able to hold all of the equipment for the examiners, two chairs, and one trash can, and at least one electrical outlet, or at least one extension cord. Um, basically, each examination station will need um, electricity in some form provided. And again, the pipe and drape or privacy screens can be provided by Hooper Homes upon request. Um, and then just uh, a little specific down at the bottom, um, room temperature of 70 degrees is optimal. And this is just to ensure that the screening equipment is working at its maximum efficiency. So just keep that in mind um, based on the time of year that you're scheduling something, as well as um, which room you're in. OK, moving on. Um, there is a coaching area as well after the participant goes through their actual screening, then they'll meet and talk with a health coach one-on-one -on -one to go over their results. So each coaching area does require um, a uh, two chairs, one trash can, and one table. Again, at least three feet by three feet is preferred. And then if you have a refreshments area, this is optional, um, but it should be located near the exit. And just please ensure that um, there's a secure or locked storage area available for screening events occurring over multiple days. Um, there is some equipment that will need to definitely be locked up, so just keep that in mind if you have it an event that goes for more than one day. Okay, and this is just a little diagram of the recommended screening area layout. Um, you'll see the registration is up at the entrance, and then the screening areas each have their two chairs and a table and a trash can, and then the coaching areas have these as well. Okay. So actual participant registration will begin the week of June 10th. Um, all screenings will default to the online scheduling method. Um, paper signups can be requested, but will only be approved on a case-by-case -case basis. 
And the reason that we do this, um, there are several benefits to using the online scheduler. Um, it's constantly monitored by Healthways, so we're able to communicate with you, the wellness ambassador, of any updates or, you know, if there's any gaps in the scheduling or maybe if we need to add some time. Um, it also ensures that everyone who's registering for an appointment is eligible to participate. And it also cuts down on the registration time on your day of the event. And then participants also have the option to receive a confirmation and reminder emails. So we really encourage the online self-scheduler, um, and again, starting June 10th. So just a couple tips at the bottom um, to help you using the online scheduler, um, especially if you have colleagues who are not normally at a computer or maybe don't have um, very high technical skills, then just we put some tips here that can hopefully help out with that. And really anyone can benefit from this. Um, designate a time for employees to visit the wellness ambassador for registration assistance, almost like hosting um, office hours for a day, if you will. Or you can set up a registration station or kiosk, um, so that way those that don't have their own computer in their own office can have, still have access to it. And then finally, just actively promote registration directions um, in, in any way possible, over emails or posters or just word of mouth. Um, or, you know, you can even register for a participant if they're there to provide you with the information. So the online self-scheduler link, um, it will be accessible through the Take Charge Live Well website as it was last year, which is www.ohio.gov slash tclw. And the State of Ohio will assist wellness ambassadors in communicating this information to eligible participants. So not only will we be sending you marketing materials, but the state will also promote the program as well. And as you can see here, um, the self-scheduler site is pretty, um, it's got the directions right on there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you'll, you'll use your employee ID and then add either um, an E or an S if you're a spouse or E for employee, date of birth, and then the group code, which is written right there, which is just state. If anyone ever has any concerns or questions while they're logging in, they're always welcome to contact customer service for assistance, and the number will be listed on the self-scheduler site as well. Okay. So once they're in the site, then they can select their screening location and schedule a date and time that works for them. And before they confirm their appointment, they'll have the option to send a reminder meeting um, to their email calendar. And if a participant would ever like to reschedule, then they can log back into the website at any time and select a new screening time. And if you are approved for paper signups, then we'll go over the requirements and instructions and tips with you specifically at that time. So this is just a copy of what the um, email reminder would look like should someone elect to have one sent. Um, you'll see their name, date, and time of screening. And this also provides instructions for fasting. So we do ask that you contact um, the outreach coordinators for any questions regarding your screening event or for any issues such as registration complications, um, if supplies happen to be left on site, uh, or missing or late examiners for either a site visit or for your screening event. We do ask that you reach out to us. Um, we put our group email address at the bottom, which is takechargelivewell at healthways.com. Um, we do ask that you, that you use this email address, so that way if, if one of us is out traveling at an event, that um, the other two outreach coordinators should be able to see your message come through, and this can ensure a more timely response for you. Now, your designated outreach coordinator for your event will reach out to you personally as well with their contact information, um, but we just wanted you to have our, our group email as well. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, if you would like to schedule an on-site screening event, um, we ask that you email that address, take charge live well at healthways.com, and we will schedule, or we will send you the uh, registration link so you can complete your web form and get started with your schedule and call at Cooper Homes. And if you have any questions, again, just reach out to that email address as well. And we look forward to working with you. Thank you.